I got bad news for the RTX 3080 Ti and a monster NVIDIA GPU just got leaked. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Piano. Piano is an online course that'll help you learn how to play the piano and reach your goals with organized lessons, practice tools, and live events. With feedback from real teachers, 100 plus popular song breakdowns, and hundreds of step-by-step -step lessons, Piano is a great way for people of all skill levels to start learning or honing their skills. So if you're interested in learning how to play the piano or just bringing yourself to the next level, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. All right, so this first story comes from videocards.com as well as the website IT Home. And yeah, guys it looks like unfortunately there's going to be yet another delay for the RTX 3080 Ti and according to videocards.com this is what they had to say about it quote Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti was originally planned to launch in mid-April the report from IT Home suggests that there is a delay of another month a fifth delay for the new RTX 3080 Ti to be precise so yeah that's definitely not sounding good and apparently videocards.com has also heard similar news that yes the RTX 3080 Ti is going to be delayed another month and I do trust video cards quite a bit, so yeah, it definitely does look like the 3080 Ti is not going to be launching in April, which is definitely unfortunate to hear. It looks like it's going to be pushed back at least another month here. Hopefully, this is going to be the final delay because, yeah, fifth delays is getting a little bit ridiculous for this card. Hopefully, they're delaying this for a good reason. Uh, my assumption would be that they're delaying the 3080 Ti so that they can get even more stock saved up so that when this launch does end up finally happening, hopefully, you will actually be able to buy a 3080 Ti on launch day or at least have a decent chance chance of doing so. Now I have talked about this in the past, but uh, in terms of the availability of the 3080 Ti, I am actually hoping that there's going to be a decent amount more supply. I think that is going to be the case because if you take a look at the uh, GA102 die that both the 3090 and the 3080 are both uh, built on, um, it does seem to be actually yielding pretty well and it seems like they're getting a lot of 3090 dies out of it. So I would assume that there's probably going to be um, you know, a lot more 3080 Ti's that they're going to be able to yield versus the 3080 since the 3080 is uh, a lot more significantly cut down down, and it's going to make NVIDIA a lot more money to sell 3080 Ti, so that makes a whole lot more sense uh, for them to produce a lot more of those if they actually can, and then on top of that, you know, with them actually delaying this card five different times now, I would assume that they have a decent amount of stock saved up, and hopefully they do, uh, so if you are looking forward to getting a 3080 Ti, unfortunately it looks like you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. I was really thinking that this mid-April one would be the last time, but hopefully this is going to be the last delay for the 3080 Ti, and also hopefully it means that you might actually have a shot of getting one and if you are there on day one and you're looking for basically any card you can get your hands on I think this might actually be your best shot of buying a video card this year but now let's go ahead and talk about that monster Nvidia GPU that was just leaked now this information comes from the Twitter leaker cop 7 Kimi and what we're talking about here is a new graphics card that's gonna be based off of the a100 GPU now the a100 GPU if you don't know was originally built to be a kind of a server GPU and it's definitely got a lot different architecture than say the RTX uh, 30 series that we're looking at right now, uh, but it's definitely a huge mammoth GPU. It's got 40 gigabytes of VRAM. It's got 1,550 uh, gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, and it also has 6,912 CUDA cores. Now, that is actually about 60% more than the RTX 2080 Ti, and that's over two and a half times more memory bandwidth. So yeah, this is definitely a very, very powerful GPU, and honestly, uh, if this was turned into a gaming GPU, I just want to talk about this for a second here, and then we'll talk about, uh, you know, if you should actually be looking for this GPU, um, but you know, if this was turned into a gaming GPU and they released gaming drivers for it and it definitely had display outs on it, which we don't know for sure if it will or will not at this point, uh, yeah, this GPU would actually be very, very powerful. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was, you know, roughly on par with an RTX 3090, maybe even a little bit faster, and with 40 gigabytes of VRAM, that would be absolutely incredible. Now, this card is really, really expensive right now. Now, if you go ahead and try and buy it, I think it's somewhere around like $10,000 to $15,000. Now, I think that this this new graphics card that's going to be released that's based off of the A100 GPU is going to be significantly cheaper, probably only a few grand here. Now, a few grand is a lot of money. We could be talking anywhere from like 2000 to 5000 US dollars. So, of course, if you're a gamer and you're looking for a card, this is probably not going to be the card for you. And on top of that, you know, like I mentioned earlier, we don't know if it's going to have display outs. We don't know if it's going to have proper NVIDIA drivers. It was never really originally built to be a gaming GPU, so the likelihood of it being used for gaming is probably pretty slim, but it is interesting to see 
see how, you know, NVIDIA could have gone a completely different route and built a GPU with a completely different architecture that actually would be really, really fast. And if there were some IPC improvements, it could actually be faster than the RTX 3090. But unfortunately, it looks like this uh, GPU, at least according to Cop 87 Kimi, is likely going to be produced for miners. Yeah, you heard that right. This may actually be a mining GPU. And unfortunately, um, yeah, it does make a whole lot of sense because if it was made for the data center and has a bunch of memory bandwidth, yeah, it's going to be really, really good for mining. And Cop 87 Kimi also says that he said that it's going to be an absolute monster for mining. And yeah, that makes a whole bunch of sense. And I really hope that NVIDIA doesn't end up releasing this because, you know, although this GPU, I do believe it is built on the TSMC 7 nanometer node. I may be wrong in that, but I believe that is the case. So it may not actually uh, cut in directly into the RTX 30 series uh, in terms of the actual dies that it's taking. It is going to cut into the uh, board parts that you're going to need for this GPU. So that's just taking away, you know, maybe capacitors or other pieces that you could be putting on an RTX 30 series GPU and moving it over to more of these A100 GPUs that are going to be sold to miners. So you as a gamer aren't even going to have a chance to get this. And if it doesn't have display outs on it and it doesn't have NVIDIA drivers that allow it to be used for gaming, then it can't be resold to gamers. So this is bad for not only gamers, but it's also bad for miners as if they're forced to go ahead and actually buy this GPU, they're not going to be able to resell it. So yeah, this is basically good for no one. and It's going to end up as e-waste at the end of the day. So yeah, NVIDIA, I hope you don't end up producing this GPU. And if you do end up producing this GPU, I hope you at least put some sort of display out on this card or at the very, very least you allow it to be, you know, reused as some sort of a workstation card at some point in the future so that it can be at least resold. But hey, yeah, it looks like this is going to be yet again another attempt by NVIDIA to produce a GPU that they maybe aren't going to have to compete with on the second hand market if this whole mining situation does end up fixing itself. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that producing a GPU for miners based on the A100 is a good idea or do you think that it's a bad idea? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.